baby interrupted a hunt. So, I don't think mom cares though, she's just chilling out. She's, I think she likes all this attention. Actually, she's got the most beautiful coat I've ever seen for a cheetah, you know? It's really, it's clean, you know? This baby cheetah is so cute. I want to. I wonder if we could take it. So we just arrived with some cheetahs that who we've been following, but haven't been able to catch. And here we are. And they're eating like it looks like a little tiny, uh, maybe a baby wildebeest. That was Manfred. He knows everything. <laughs> He's the man. Literally, that's his name. It's actually very bizarre for a family of cheetahs like this to all be together. Typically, uh, only one cub survives. So the fact that mama has four of her cubs with her at eight months of age is very rare. It really was neat to see. And we actually tracked these cheetahs for quite a while. We were tracking them for a couple of days. And as you can see, they're very skittish. So it was really quite a rare find to get them all together like this. She's pregnant? Really amazing to see this mother and her four cubs consume this baby wildebeest. They're about um, eight months old, these cheetahs, so really cool. They grow so fast from that cub that we saw yesterday. Here in the savannah, no food goes wasted. I mean, <laughs> all of the animals from the buzzards to the hyenas are all waiting for this family of cheetahs to move on so they can scour the bones and get what little meat's left on them. But I don't think this group of cheetahs is going to leave until every last piece of meat is gone. They are a great looking group of cheetahs and they're really enjoying this meal. As our day comes to an end, watching this beautiful family of cheetahs, I'm again reminded of how rare and exquisite these animals are. They're one of the most endangered animals on our planet due to poaching and also due to them being put into captivity as pets in the Arabian Peninsula. I really encourage everyone to come out on one of these safaris because your 
going there helps the Masamara people protect these animals and keep them for future generations.